y'all doing today? Ethan Waters coming in live for another episode of Adventures with Ethan Waters. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning out my crocodile habitat. Uh, so just wanted to show y'all what goes into cleaning the crocodile habitat. Not getting bitten while you're doing it. Y'all stay tuned. So as you can see, it's gotten pretty dirty in here in the last few days. I fed him some chicks and some rats. So you can see they've smeared some feces on the side and they've got their water pretty dirtied up. So we're gonna go ahead today and pop this open and get this cleaned out. Uh, get these guys refreshed a little bit, make sure they're staying nice, fat and healthy and clean. So I like to use this shop back here with the 25 foot hose on it. That way I can keep the shop vac outside. Uh, I, don't want to, I don't want to take this inside and get in poop and pee water get spread all over the floor because it does leak a little bit. So I can keep this outside. I can put my uh, hose inside the enclosure, get it siphoned good, and then I can let the hose out into the yard. That way I don't have to dump the shop vac 10 or 15 times. It just slows, speeds up the process a good bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. We're gonna get this sucker turned on here and get this hose inside and get this thing cleaned out here. You gotta make sure the door's closed because all the cats will go outside. So I'll get the hose down there in the water, get it siphoned, get it going nice and good, and then go back outside and I can take this hose here, pull it off, and just let it go into the yard. Uh, like I said, I don't wanna have to dump this thing 10, 15 times while doing this. Saves a lot of time and effort, plus keeps your floor a little cleaner inside too. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, recommend doing the same when you're cleaning out your enclosures that have water in it. So this won't take but 30, 40 seconds to get this thing down low. And once it gets down low, I'll obviously have to siphon most of the water. Or I'll have to suck out the rest of the water at the bottom and then spray it out again and then uh, clean it. As you can see, these guys are pretty calm when I'm in here cleaning with them. Uh, when I bring food in, they know it's feeding time. When I bring the hose in, they know it's, uh, it's going to be cleanup time. So they do retreat away from me and stay in the back of the enclosure until I'm done with it. So now I'll get the hose attachment here and I'll start sucking out some of this pee and poop here. I do have some safe carpet cleaner I'll put on here to clean this carpet up. Uh, some of this is uh, chicks the night before that they squirted all over the place. So that does make a mess and get pretty stinky pretty quick. So we wanna get all that sucked out of there. Get it sprayed down, wiped down, and then sucked out again. To make sure these dudes are staying nice, clean, and healthy inside. Go over here and see what Rufio's doing. Looks like Rufio's laid daddy a few turds here on the right side. As you can see, he doesn't really mind too much. He knows it's not feeding time, he retreats, lets daddy do his thing, and he's gonna go ahead and walk off now and get back there in the back and get safe with his buddies. But uh, dude, I'll make sure you get this carpet nice and cleaned out of here. As you can see, Miley and Rufio are in the back, just hanging out. They've gotten a little used to me cleaning throughout the years, and uh, they don't mind it as much. Go ahead and get these little turds sucked up here. Go ahead and finish out the bottom here, make sure I get all those turds and peas out of there sometimes they get stuck on the bottom of the rock so I do flip all the rocks over to make sure we get it nice and clean spray it out one more time and then we'll be ready to suck the rest of it out so now we're gonna go ahead and fill up with some fresh water get it a couple inches from the top because you gotta remember once the bodies are down in the water they're gonna push the water level up a little bit get that water nice clean and clear for them So now we're all nice and clean in here. As you can see, Rufio there, the Morlet's Croc, Molly the Spectacle Cayman, and Jericho the Dwarf Cayman. Everybody's still in the back hiding from Daddy. They'll be back in the water before too long. Thank y'all for joining Ethan in this episode of Adventures with Ethan Waters. If y'all got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I might just get back to you. Y'all take it easy now. Whoosh.